Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. Today we're going to be looking at the TYT TH9800 quad band amateur radio, uh, but a new version. Uh, this version came out uh, maybe a month ago, a month ago at the time of this video recording. Um, and it is, uh, it, it replace it, it incorporates the 220 megahertz band. Um, but as what I consider a mistake, uh, TYT removed the 440 megahertz band and put 220 in it. I kind of wish they would have removed 10 meters and made a six meter, two meter, 220, 440, but that's not what they did. They, uh, so the, so the radio is 10 meters, six meters, two meters and 220. And uh, as we're going to see here in a minute, um, the power output on the radio is not really, um, not really great. So it's not, uh, it's not a radio that I'm recommending at this point in time. I have gone back to TYT. I've been a TYT dealer since uh, November of 2013. And uh, I've gone back to them and said, hey, you know, here's how I think we can improve this radio. But uh, but I did want to do a video of it to try to at least you know because some people have emailed me hey what about this new version I was like yeah I've got one of those I'm I'm doing a video now so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that um, and we'll see exactly what's going on also if you wouldn't mind uh, go to my website grapevineamateurradio.com click on the tab at the top that says Ham Radio 2.0 uh, and at the top of that page you will see a list of all the videos I've done. And all every time I do a new video, it will be put up on that page. At the very top of that page, you'll be able to click on a PayPal button to uh, do a, a one-time donation or a subscription. And uh, this helps me fund this project. My goal and my focus is to try to do this project full-time. And um, it costs money to for the, uh, the equipment that I use, and it costs money to buy these radios to review, and it costs money to travel. I want to start doing some ham fest reviews and, and whatnot. So if you are able and willing, uh, I would appreciate any kind of uh, donation that you can give at this point in time. Uh, but take a look at this video for the uh, for the TH9800. Same look, same model number, same everything, except this one uh, has 220 also. This is the box for the new... TH9800. You'll see that it still says 430. 10 meter, 6 meter, 2 meter, and 440. As well, it still says 430 megahertz on the sticker on the side. The Chinese are famous for using the same box for multiple radios, but the radio inside is definitely the new model that uh, has uh, 70 centimeters removed and uh, 1.25 meters added. So, same manual. Manual hasn't changed. Same contents inside the box. You got your radio. And you got your power cord, power cord, microphone, Separation uh, cable for the remote mounting head, the bracket for the remote mounting heads under there, and the bracket for the radio body is also under there. And then you've got, or that's the bracket right there for the remote mounting head. So everything's the same in the box. You can't really tell which one you've received if, um, if you don't uh, have... The radio actually plugged up, turned on, and, and looking at it. So that is that. Just uh, I assume that probably over time, if they continue making this radio, uh, well, number two things. I assume, number one, if they continue making this radio, they're going to have to improve it, or they're not going to sell any. Number two, over time, if they continue making this radio, it'll probably uh, they'll update the box and the manual and everything to reflect the, the correct frequencies as well. This is a look at the TH9800 that incorporates 220 in place of the 70 centimeter band. 
we're going to take, it works the same as the uh, regular quad band TH9800 except it doesn't have all the re receive frequencies that the old one did. That's 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters, and then the 220 to I'm not sure how. I think it goes like 220 to 260. I haven't tested the limits of it yet. So look at that right now. Welcome to the AM5. Yep. It goes 260 to 220. So that it doesn't get the uh, receive frequencies that the, the TH9800, the quad bander, would receive seven or eight different bands. So it doesn't get all those. But uh, anyway, the output on it seems to be kind of lacking. You can see the meter right here. Move the camera back a tad. So we've got uh, four power settings on it. Same as the original model. Low power on 10 meters. Looking at right at 5 watts. Mid one on 10 meters you're looking at uh, about 10 watts. Mid two is right at 20 watts. And then high power is right at 20 watts also. It seems to be kind of common. High power on six meters right at 20 watts. High power on two meters is actually closer to 50 watts. It's pretty much right at 50 watts on 2 meters. So that's good. 220. Change over here. This is 223.5 is the national calling frequency. High power is only about 20 watts. So we can turn it down all the way. 5 watts on low. About 10 watts on high. About 20 watts on... I'm sorry, that wasn't high. 10 watts on low. Or, I'm sorry, 5 watts on low, 10 watts on mid one. Mid, mid one is the higher one. 20 watts. And then turn the scale up on the meter. It's only... It's only pushing about 20 watts on high power on the 220 band. Now compared to the, as I said a minute ago, compared to the uh, tri-band, or the, I'm sorry, yeah, the tri-band mobile that Anytone's been threatening to release for about six or eight months, the um, power output on 220 on that radio is only going to be about 25 watts also. It's going to be about 50 watts on 2 meters and uh, move that up there 50 watts on 2 meters 35 watts on 440 25 watts on 220 roughly It'll vary a bit across the band probably so this one is seems to work okay I'm going to put it on the antenna here shortly make a couple of contacts with it hit a couple of repeaters with it and we'll see how that works Okay, so there it is, the TYT TH9800 quad band amateur radio, where they removed 440 and added 220. Um, you know, I ordered this radio as a test, and after uh, what we've just seen here, I don't plan to order any more. I don't. Uh, I think they've really kind of dropped the ball by removing 440 and adding 220 because uh, they've got a quad band radio 
where 10 meters and 6 meters are rarely used, and you've got 2 meters and 440 that are used all the time, and then you get rid of one of the main bands to add 220, and I'm a 220 fan. I talk on 220. I talked on 220 driving home from work three days this week. I talked on a 220 net. Um, there's a 220 net on Friday evenings at 8 p.m. If you're around the Fort Worth area, it's on 224.78 with a PL tone of 110.9. And it's run by a couple of guys out of the Mansfield Club. And uh, it's a good net. They usually have, I don't know, anywhere from 8 to 10 to 15 check-ins, something like that. And For 220 on a Friday night, that's pretty darn good. Um, so 220 is really coming up in this area. I talked on three different repeaters this week alone on 220. So I'm glad that TYT is kind of going the route of 220. But not at the uh, not the, at the expense of 440 uh, because 440 is still much much more popular than 220 overall. So um, uh, it would have been really neat if they would have dropped 10 meters and had a quad banner that's six meter, two meter, 220, and 440 would have been very unique. Uh, you would have had all your main bands plus you would have had six meters and there's some six meter repeaters around in this area and six meter FM simplex is fun to do. But uh, that's not what they did. And they uh, they dropped 440, added 220, and they can't. It doesn't look like you can get very much power. It's certainly not full power, 50 watts on any band. Um, so uh, so I was kind of disappointed with that. I've got the radio sitting right over there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably just going to leave it there. Uh, I'd like the two, uh, the TH9800 radio overall. I ran one in my truck for about a year and a half, and. Uh, the only problem I ever had with it was the, the ultra-sensitive microphone. It was a very hot mic. So, anyway, um, that is that radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, the support. Appreciate all the feedback. Feel free to comment and share this video on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, wherever you want to share it. And uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate all the comments. So, 73, have a good afternoon, and we'll catch you on the next episode.